Nation's most advanced fleet of weather satellites is about to get an update and later today the fourth and final installation of NOAA's goes our series will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. KCAL meteorologist Marina Jurica is here with more on this. This sounds fascinating Marina. It's so exciting. I was there for both the goes east and west launches and the new satellite named goes you will join that fleet and help us keep us very safe here on the ground and in space. And this morning we're joined live by Tom Rank Evans, NOAA Chief Satellite Products and Services Division. And he's live from Cape Canaveral, where it goes you will launch in just a few hours. Welcome. It is so fascinating. I know that when I saw that as a meteorologist, that full first disc image of goes east, my jaw dropped to the floor. And I know that this is just going to continue with this amazing fleet. So what is the goes you mission all about and why has it become so revolutionary? Operational environmental satellite. It's the, these are the satellites that orbit the Earth at the same revolution of the Earth. So it's giving the constant central constant picture over the over the earth. So for you in Los Angeles, you have goes west, goes 18. It's looking at pineapple connections, those rainfall, the snow in the mountains, looking at uh, severe weather that's approaching, uh, the high and dry skies. So it's it is the eyes and, and uh, the, the sky 24/7 uh, for the United States, Central and South America as well. Yeah, Tom, I will never forget just that real time weather component of it that you're talking about. And the severe storm activity is seen with such clarity. It's amazing. Now, Goes You is the final installment in this series. And we hear it has a new instrument on board that will be focused on space weather from the sun. Can you tell us a little bit about this new instrument? All right. So on Goes 19 or Goes You right now, Goes 19 wants this orbit. We'll have the compact chronograph. It's called the C-Core. And what that will do is look at the sun's coronal mass ejections. And these uh, observe the coronal ejections from the sun, which is uh, largely for aurora borealis in the northern latitudes. But if strong enough, it can cause geomagnetic magnetic storms, which impact navigation, GPS, satellite communication. So it really is a, a space weather uh, hazard. We think about terrestrial hazards, severe weather or flooding, but there are solar and space weather hazards that we in, in NOAA do monitor 24 hours, 24 hours a day. <clears throat> Very excited about this component and in conjunction with Sunrise, which will be launching later on this year as well. We're going to be able to learn so much more than we already do about space weather and CMEs in particular. So here in our area, we're particularly concerned about wildfires. So how will GOZU help forecasters better predict this type of extreme weather? Yeah, so the GOZAR series, GOZU, these four satellites, they can observe wildfires uh, in, in the urban areas and in, in the rural areas. We have a geostationary light ma lightning mapper on board, so we can see where lightning might be striking in dry areas to spark those wildfires. So these data are revolutionary uh, in, in providing the wildfire uh, forecasters and the wildfire uh, firefighters for this data and imagery in real time. We get pictures every five minutes, even up to every 30 seconds, if we really need to scan those areas. And so these these are the 911 from space. Oftentimes, we get to see the fire before someone will call it in from 911. Yes, it's fantastic, and it's so great to know that this fleet is finally coming to fruition, and the fourth will launch today. I know it's 70% probability. I was a weather forecaster with the 45th for quite some time there at the Cape, and so I'm very excited and hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that all will go for launch later on this afternoon, Tom. Thanks so much. Thank you.